E voltamos com mais uma gameplay de The Wolf Among Us. Esse que não é aquele jogo retardado da Twitch. Esse que é The Wolf Among Us. Um jogo onde você é o lobo mau e você tem que investigar as tretas que estão acontecendo na sua cidade. Galera, a gente chegou no episódio 5, Cry Wolf. O último episódio da nossa série. É, eu trouxe esse game pro canal... Porque é um dos meus jogos favoritos da Telltale, depois do The Walking Dead. E provavelmente o 2 tá pra, tá pra lançar esse ano, né? Então, caramba. É isso, galera. No final do episódio passado, a gente descobriu onde ficava a casa do The Crooked Man, que é esse maluco que tá mandando em todo mundo. E nesse episódio aqui vão acontecer altas tretas. Então, vambora. Quem não assistiu os outros episódios, eu, eu deixo sempre no card em cima do vídeo pra vocês poderem assistir. Let's go. I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? <sighs> not if I can avoid it. Holly's sister, Lily. Do you even give a shit about us, the strays? That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! We're not burning the tree, Snow. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Oh, God! Big B! This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. É, maluco. Só aconteceu treta no episódio 3 e 4, né? Olha essa intro, galera. Que intro maravilhosa. Até o Tail já teve muito carinho com os jogos dela, né? Dá pra ver. Dá pra ver por que que faliu. Deixou de ter o carinho que ela tinha com os jogos. You've come a long way. Hum. You must be tired. Sim, tô cansado. Covil do The Crooked Man. Noite. Ah, eu acendi um cigarro no episódio passado, né? <risos> pra intimidar os malucos. E? Olha o cara armado ali com medo, de, com medo de mim. Esse é aquele revólver que atira bala de Please, prata, sheriff, né? Relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat. Vivian makes a very nice, very. It's elegant. Really, a carpaccio. Tá. It's lobster. Eu aceito um drink. Got a scotch? Only Tennessee whiskey, unfortunately. Apagou o cigarro. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. O Jersey tá com, tá com muita raiva da gente, né? <risos> well, Sheriff, for the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. Uh, você tentou me matar. You forget what happened at the pudding and pie. You and your goons tried to kill me. I'm truly sorry for that whole debacle. 
It was not my intention to put you or Miss White in any sort of danger. My wish was merely to take Crane, Sheriff. But as soon as the assignment grew out of control, I put a stop to it. I know that that doesn't change what happened to you. And I can only offer my sincerest apologies. No you didn't we'll stop see. it out of the kindness of your heart. You stopped it because Snow White offered up Crane. That may have appeared to you to be the case, but I assure you, it wasn't. And I hope you believe me when I say, Sheriff, that I sincerely mean to make it up to you. The recent murders that have gotten such attention as of late, I don't relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you and to assure you that it's over with. You really Eu sei don't quem need fez to isso. Further. I already know who did it. Forgive me, Sheriff, for doubting your acumen. But who do you think committed these crimes? It's been a long couple of days for you. Perhaps you've become somewhat unscrewed. Foi Bloody Mary, né? Sei lá. It was Mary. <laughs> no, Sheriff. I'm afraid you're mistaken. Ih, a gente errou. I have complete respect for you and your job. I really do. But I'm sorry. I simply can't divulge the transgressor. You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. No. I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? Que isso, maluco? The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? Você tá me irritando. Please. I'm already pissed off. You don't want to make it worse. You think I'm scared of you? <laughs> You're nothing more That's than That's enough. A... I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was Georgie. Foi o Georgie que matou elas. However, like I said, I'd be handling the matter if you don't mind. Foi o Georgie. Georgie. You got what you wanted, so just sit down now. Por que que o George faria isso? O que que elas iam? Yeah, I killed him. So what? You should have just kept your nose where it fucking belonged. Por que? Georgie, why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Look, the fact is. George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. That you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And then you attempt me to, to kill blame him. me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis! You're just gonna let him do this? Pera aí. É mentira do Crooked Man. So what do you say, Sheriff? Foi o George ou não? Ele mandou o George eu matar ou não? Consider it a gift, ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? Take this fucker. Take all of them. I didn't fucking Don't start make this. Any trouble, Georgie? Are you seriously throwing me under the fucking carriage after everything I've done for you? No deals. It's over. So get up. I'd advise against that approach, Bigby. You can't just hand me over! What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us! For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I give a fuck if I'm the one Who the shit do you think you fuckers are? Get the fuck out of here! I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him! Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? Yeah, what the fuck? You're gonna make sure we all go down this shit with you? I, know. I told you! I'm not going anywhere. This could have gone so well. I'm not going to make a criminal. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? A Mary! Ela tava aqui o tempo todo! Ela tava nos filhos! 
<laughs> Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you all fixed up. Gordo. Take this. No. Eat You're done, Wolf. Come on, we're pretty much done here. Sai. I'd like to say it was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. Eita, esfaqueou o gordão! Caraca, mano! Agora oh, oh, oh. Sai, Jersey! Vai embora, porra! This way! Acabou. Caramba, eu vim negociar que deu tudo errado. <risos> Come on. Eu não faço agora oh, com ninguém não, mano. Shit. I know. Tô aqui, maluco. Vou te pegar, Jorge. parado <risos> vai vestir não pera aí as roupas que ele encontrou ali <risos> são exatamente iguais às roupas que ele tava lá na casa do ah não são diferentes aparentemente Vamos dar uma olhada no carro. Não, é parecida com a roupa que ele tava. A roupa que ele roubou lá da cara. Eu não sei porque a gente tá examinando isso. O Jorge perdeu muito sangue, ele vai morrer. Vem 
Come on. We can't stay here. Uh, uh, hang on. I need a minute. Ok. Eu não queria matar ninguém, mano. O George tentou me matar, daí eu tive que me defender. Shit. Hello, Big B. I hope you'd come to your senses. <laughs> oh, crooked man's the one you want. But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. No, 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 it isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man murdered- Of course it does. Those girls- So it's all my fucking fault then. I you didn't fucking... mean- ah! You're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf too? You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? I did what I had to! You can't fucking blame me for that! Look, I'm Sometimes just... you just have to do what you're told. Then it comes back to bite you in the ass because some good-for-nothing crooked bastard okay, decides you're not sense. worth shit anymore. Why'd you do it then, huh? If it's not your fault, then what the fuck happened? <sighs> Look, Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. So he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him. And I'd do it again. Because it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them. And then he fucking sold me out. The both of you can go rot in hell. Georgie. You think I'm the one to fucking blame? Well, say his full not what I meant. I was just trying. You're still the one who pulled the trigger. Nobody held your hand and made you go through with it. Brian, believe what you want. I can tell you've made up your mind. Doesn't matter if it's fucking true or not. Go ahead and kill me then. But it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. It must be so easy being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. But what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? At the end of the day, you're just like him. Come in here, talking about options. Like Would it was that simple. You could have done anything else. You could have let them go. You could have freed Faith and Lily from those fucking ribbons instead of murdering them. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... What would you have me do? Kill her? Georgie, don't. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me, if freeing Lily meant she had to die... Do you still think I had a fucking choice? What are you doing? I told you, you don't know the fuck about anything. What are you talking about? Que que tá this falando, is the original. The girl with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Ah, Vivian Couldn't original. take it off. Se Couldn't Vivian talk about it. Morrem. She used todas a little purple livres. ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet. To ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers, and the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here either. I know that. But did it have to be like this? Wait, those were your ribbons? You're in on this? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand, nobody was supposed to die. When we built this place, it was just a stupid idea, a gimmick. 
Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started, anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were gonna be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. Then the Crooked Man showed up, and everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... If you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her then. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day. Stop it. I told you. Sometimes all your options are shit. I don't want to kill her. What the fuck are you supposed to do then? I'm not playing this game, Georgie. I won't kill her. Don't talk about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. Bob, I wasn't really... Just shut up. You're right. It's your life. I know what I've done. Wait. I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just do what they want with my life. I thought it would be different here. But it's all the fucking same. Vivian, I didn't mean... Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily? To all of them. Vivian, wait. I... Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've done to them. What I took away from them. I look at Nerissa and I hate myself. Vivian. I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Vivian, don't. <laughs> oh. Goodbye, Vivian, Georgie. no! Caraca, mano. Fuck! No, 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 no! Why'd you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian! Shit! No. Damn it! Ah. Ela libertou todas as, Vivian, as outras mulheres. I didn't fucking mean it. I was just. Oh. Agora o George tem que contar a verdade pra gente. Get up. Get up. Don't think so, Bigby. Ele vai morrer, mano. I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Eu não posso really matar o the crooked man. Me, right. Não se preocupe com For ele. Both of us. You know the bastard deserves it. Don't worry about the crooked man. <sighs> Old foundry by the river. All right. Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. You want to finish me off now? No. Or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one? That's what you want to do, right? Well, Isso não é quem eu, eu não vou te, eu não vou matar ele, eu não vou torturar ele. That's not who I am. Sure it's not. No more games, all right. We both know how this ends. Just make it quick. Mata ele, eu deixo ele. Não, vou deixar ele. Draw this out. Você usou essas mulheres aí, eu vou deixar você sofrer, maluco. What? You're just gonna leave me here. Eu vou mandar alguém. Essa é a sua punição. You'll have plenty of time to think about what you've done. Fuck you. Eu prometia. Eu prometia a Snow que a gente ia tentar seguir a lei. Fazer as coisas by the book. Se eu tiver que tentar fazer o certo, vai ter que ser. Vai ter que ser. Não só quando eu puder fazer, né? Vou ter que fazer o certo sempre. Eu me lembro que da primeira vez que eu joguei esse jogo eu matei o George. Eu tinha tanta raiva dele.
É aqui. Esse é o carro do The Crooked Man. É aqui mesmo. É a limousine do cara. Do cara. E tá quente ainda o motor. Ele chegou cedo. Vambora, maluco. Tô chegando, maluco. Vou ter que arrombar. So this is where they've been sending these. Isso tá com cara de armadilha, né? A porta trancou. Big Bad Wolf. E The Big Bad Wolf. É ela. É a Mary. You used to be something. Tem fotos de todas elas. Então era a Mary que tava tirando foto de todas as meninas? Provavelmente era ela. They used to fear you. They'd hide anywhere their small shivering bodies with pet. Nossa, que, que, que roda é essa? Faz as balas de prata. Oh, caramba. It's about time you showed up. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. Ah, Bigby. I see you made it here in one piece. Oh, cara. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. Eu vou bater nela. <laughs> wow. What a man. Stealing punches while my back is turned. Didn't your mother ever teach you to fight proper? Filha da mãe. Vagabunda Despertou o lobo Carai Até meu cabelo mudou, olha que legal que ficou Onde que ela foi, maluco? Where are you? 
Come out and face me! Se ele pisasse no último fragmento dela ali Maluco Então esse é o verdadeiro poder do Big B As roupinhas dele ali Olha o cara olhando a gente Ele tá armado. Ele tá armado. Dá pra ver a mão dele. Hello, Big B. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six rounds of. 
I won't miss next time. Eita porra. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. Hmm. Esse é o plano. You plan to do what she says, don't you? That's right. But what happens to you once you get there is a different story. I'm not quite finished. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. Okay. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. Por que que você vai querer um julgamento justo? The whole town will be calling for your execution. Why would you want me to bring you back there? Why don't you let me worry about that? Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the Eu story. Eu no Georgie. Maybe you didn't carry it out. But I don't think Georgie was lying when he said you ordered their deaths. Georgie would have said anything to save himself. We both know that. I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will. As long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. I don't mean to belabor the point. But just so we're clear. If you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless. And I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you é sobre want the justiça. Truth, or do you just want to look like the hero? Because those are two very different things. This is about justice. I'm the sheriff. I have to do what's right. Two people were murdered. And you know who did it. Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. You know, I'm actually looking forward to seeing Miss White Eu vou levar ele. My previous interactions with her have gone rather well. All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? No. Hey! Me dá a arma. I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Eu prometi para Snow, então eu vou cumprir. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. Vou gemar ele. You're under arrest. Você tá preso. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your punishment will follow. Tá preso, maluco. I know, I know. But we Foi necessário to prender ele. Are you fucking me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to... He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. Motherfucker. Are you okay? It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble. Mm. At the crooked man's place. Ele não facilitou. <laughs> after what happened with Mary. Well, he didn't make it easy. What happened? It doesn't matter. He's here. We got him. We can talk about it later. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know... I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes, what are you waiting for? Do you you killed so? Lily. She was my sister. How could you? What do you have to say for Where yourself? Where the fuck do you get this off? You think you have the right and to just do me? this to people? You're a fucking crook. This? You Everyone? 
Can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The Crooked Man is charged with the murder of as Faith and- As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I don't mean Você to deu a ordem para ele matar a maluca. Ele vai tentar to enganar todo mundo aqui nesse julgamento. Bigby, is that true? Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Ele morreu. Yeah, sheriff, where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Sheriff? Ele morreu. Don't worry about it. It's done. Justice has already been dispatched. Bigby executed him. He's... Eu não executei o George, não. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That doesn't change anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case you still have a lot to answer for. I and was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? If you'd wait a moment. I'm well aware of my rights, Miss White. Unless you plan to abandon the charter entirely. Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. <clears throat> You are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. <laughs> Aiding and <laughs> providing <laughs> monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical he artifacts. Crane. And kidnapping Crane at gunpoint. He went willingly. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Now, is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Second. Like hell you did. Stop the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. And there's all the other crap he's done. I know you're responsible. You've been behind all of this from the beginning. So cut the shit. We all know who you are. We know what you've Just done. Just give it up already. Cara, todo mundo odeia ele. The crooked man has committed crimes against this government and, most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death. Upon which your body will be committed to the witching Where it fucking belongs. That's so right. let's get on But with it. We promise you a chance to defend yourself. And I won't rob you of that right. What the you're fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. A Snow tá certa, mas essa situação This é muito diferente, né? You have the floor. Vai, maluco, se defende, hein? Thank you, hein? White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. This, This is such bullshit! He's always been a bit of a powder keg. No, El, it was only a matter of time before something like this happened. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to Era cooperate. Porra. What's he talking about? You weren't being helpful. You were trying to set me up. Your people tried to kill me. They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I've protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. 
You might even give up an innocent man just to save someone. Eles não queriam te proteger não. What's he talking about? Yeah, right. They don't do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate people. You scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that, hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. What about Lily? She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted that any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in line. You forget it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners, I was there to look out for you. Yes, but wasn't I? Nós não abandonamos ninguém. We didn't abandon anyone. We've been trying to help them. Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? Eu ajudei ela. Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, Eu she came a to me. Dela. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back, and in turn we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? She wanted my tree destroyed, but Bigby refused. What? You were gonna burn her tree? Snow, why would you want that? Is that true? Snow? I know. Ela cometeu Snow um made a mistake. I have very good reasons for asking you to do that. She was working with Crane and the Crooked Man. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with a Crooked Man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. Melhorar. Like you did with her? Things haven't been great for a while now, but... We'll do better at protecting you from people like him. The crooked man's been exploiting you, exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help, and he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. And ele, if things didn't fall exactly his way, gente. someone would die. He took Faith and Lily from us. And while we can never get them back, we can certainly punish who's responsible. Eita. They're right. Tá do lado da gente. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this Alana. town is over, and those girls will have their justice. Very good. Very good. The sentiment Cusão. is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. Não são, não. The sheriff doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the... Georgie was working for you. Bigby got a confession that... A confession that... that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... history. What are you talking about? Snow? Qual que é a sua história? So, are we done? And what about your history? All you've done to this fucking town? What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe... maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. Ah, se não tiver just... Of course it's right! This man tormented all of you, for profit! Georgie Let killed them... Let me just them. make sure I understand you. 
You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course! Hmm, but quer, quer chegar onde com isso? Where are you going with this? If I'm to blame for Georgie's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? Like what? How about the way he treated the poor woodsman when he was in your custody? Eu he was bem. beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under no. my watch. Maybe no, 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 no. Did you think we'd all just Foi let that go? You can't be nele. serious. That was different. What? That was Bluebeard, not me. He was a murder suspect. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employees' behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. We I all... did not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This isn't right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, Isn't I know that you know. when we need them. Bluebeard, to. please. That's I not mean, a true. certain level of privilege should be afforded to three. To who? This is how it's always been. Yes. See, this is exactly to what I'm speaking. We lashed our ropes to this disease world, and ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers, judging you? Treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who Not will dare to challenge their when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the... Big B! Miss White! Oh, chegou a menina! Excuse me, I... dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? What's wonder? she doing here? I'd like to... I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. Bluebeard. What? Bala. Uh, of course. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. My dear, I don't... Just know shut up! Eita, you enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. Hey. But you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. A Vivian se matou. Ela queria que todas vocês fossem livres. from the ribbons. She took her own life. I'm sorry, um, I don't think Nerissa. My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily. That's a lie. I was in the goddamn room when he did it. Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. And now I can finally say, you're an asshole. And I hope you rot at the bottom of the witching well for what you did. Ah. And this just confirms it. É a confirmação he que made a gente precisava. Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good enough for me? Me too. So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. Nah, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves! You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. Chega de falar, Wait. maluco. What? You're done talking, crooked man. You had your chance. Well done, then. 
Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not good you. enough. Maybe there will be more if he isn't hasn't stopped. There been I don't get it. So we get rid of him. Get him out of here. We can send him Everyone, away. Everyone, listen up. A velha tá certa, dá pra aprender. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think This we... is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. Why not? What about a vote? What do you think this is? Everyone, calm decide. down. Look, Snow should decide what we do with him. She's gonna be the deputy mayor, But so... But she's not the deputy mayor yet. What about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. Ih, vai ser eu que vou decidir. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's... It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Snow... Just do what you think is right. Yes, Sheriff. Do what you think is right. Teach him a fucking lesson. No. He has to die. We can lock him Just away. fucking get rid of him. Prende ele, mano. Not this way. Caralho, me pegou, filho da puta. Filho da mãe, cara. Eu me decidi. Não, não vou empurrar. I hope you all remember this moment. Think of me. When you try to sleep. Vão prender ele. Finish it, Sheriff. Ele quer tanto morrer que a gente vai ter que prender ele, mano. Vai ser muito melhor assim. You said you had a way to keep him from hurting people. Wait, you After can't what be serious. What he's done? You just gonna put him in prison? This isn't the way, Sheriff. You're doing the right thing. Yes, there's a way. All right, do it. É a coisa certa, mano. Caramba, cara. Ah, é a decisão correta. Eu prometi pra Snow que a gente ia fazer as coisas na lei. É ele! Ela transformou ele num corvo. Not what I was expecting. Morning, crooked man. He's got a sharp tongue. I thought it would be better for everyone if he parted with it. Thanks, Greenleaf. Let's just call it even. Hey, Sheriff. Ah, o cara tá trabalhando com a gente. We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. This fucking line. Ah lá. <laughs> tá todo mundo aqui, mano. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher left his keys. Ok, me dá a chave então. Tá tudo bem? Is everything okay? You look. I'm, I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Good morning, Miss White. You're late. Ah. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. O porco! <risos> o Colin cheio de cerveja! Mano, esse porco é... Caralho! Eu deixei ele ficar... Porque ele prometeu que não ia fazer merda, tá ligado? <risos> Com favo de taipava na boca, mano. Que porco maluco. Completamente louco esse porco, cara. Oh, Gowan! Jesus! We only have like five minutes. 
E carry me for fuck's sake. I don't give a shit. Ah, mano, o sapo e o filho dele vai vão embora para a fazenda. It's been pretty busy around here. Morning, sheriff. Nice fucking day. Shit. Just go grab that, would you? Desculpa, eu tentei ajudar. Sorry about all this. I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and my boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance, but Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. Eu tentei ajudar. Wait, Sheriff Bigby, Fala, I garoto. have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so if you could bring it to her. Vou dar o um presentinho para ela. So. É claro. Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, cause when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you. Ela vai gostar. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> Eu sinto muito. I'm sorry, TJ, but uh, look on the bright side, okay? There's plenty of space to run around. Uh... A nice river nearby, so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah, you don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on, it won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No, I'm. Uh, some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves, so you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Big B. Where's your friend, Colin? Ah. Where's a fucking pig? Ele vai ficar. Foi mal. Colin gets to stay. That's bullshit, Big B, and you know it. You're a fucking corrupt. Hum, ele ficou puto, mas é a verdade. Colin vai ficar. Desculpa. Nossa, mano, é injusto. Saying goodbye. A Snow tendo mandado eles dois, né? A Nerissa. Ela não é mais prostituta. Não é mais prostituta. Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to... It's just. Você precisa deixar aí. Tira essa fita. Need to let that go. How are you going to move on? If Big you... B, I... Isso. I know you're trying to help, but this is just something I need to do on my own. Listen, I, I came here because I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily Ela vai contar a verdade pra gente. We're gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they'd go just to silence someone who had Fala. physical evidence? I had to. Narissa, just tell me what happened. Fala que aconteceu. I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were just trying to protect. Ela tava tentando them. proteger, mas não torna menos yeah. pior do que ela. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then, oh god. 
Vou dar um cigarrinho para ela. Thank you. Eu sou o xerife. Eu acendo para você, querida. I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there as he was telling me this, Faith walked in and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was Ela it? Mentiu. What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. Mano, foi o George mesmo. So you think that makes it okay to lie? I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith, I tried to warn Lily. But she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. Foi ela que deixou a cabeça da Faith na porta. I walked her over here. And I left her. Just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them, could at least save the rest of us. Why would you do that? I couldn't think of any other way to get your attention. So you, you started all this. I just pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just fade like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. Isso não vai mais acontecer. It's going to be different now. I promise. É, ainda bem que a gente não matou o Crooked Man, né? Porque a gente não tinha certeza se era ele. make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. Mm, eu não sei onde ficar. I don't really know where we stand anymore. Things are just O Big B é velha guarda, né? Ele resolve as coisas na porrada. A Snow quer resolver tudo no papel, na lei. Look, Big B. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town. Finally, because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against eu, the eu crooked vários, man, it was erros. you. I've been making a lot of mistakes lately. But you've also done a lot of good. Don't forget that. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Oh shit! Essa não é a frase da menina do começo? I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. What hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom? They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. Maluco! Eu vou atrás dela. I'll see you around. Foda. Ah. As escolhas, né? Você. Você e 31% dos players deixaram o George morrer. Caramba, a maioria matou o George? Sério? 
você levou o Crooked Man para ser julgado. Uh, como você o puniu? Você e 47% escolheram aprisionar. Nossa, foi quase 50%, né? Você aceitou o presente do, T do TJ pra, pra Snow? Sim. Esses negócios importam mesmo? Não sabia. Ok, então o presente dele é importante. Uh, quais foram suas últimas palavras pra Nerissa? Eu cometi vários erros. Só 29% dos players escolhem isso. Caramba, foi muito foda, galera. Foi muito foda trazer esse jogo aqui pro canal. Ninguém assiste, né? Mas foi muito foda. Aham. Uhum. Pera, eu menti pra ele. Eu prometi... É, beleza. É, eu tentei ser bacana. O Bluebird eu lutei com ele. Ofereci proteção ao Butcher. Uh, ajudei o Colin a evitar a fazenda, porque é meu amigo. Foda-se. Uh, aprisionamos o Crooked Man. Faith morreu. George morreu. O Jack, a gente fez um acordo. A Nerissa, dei um cigarro pra ela. A Snow, eu, prome... eu cumpri mais ou menos as promessas dela, né? Fui bacana com ela. Esse Tiny Teen, eu fui bacana. TJ, eu fui legal com ele. Toad, eu fiquei do lado dele, mas mesmo assim a Snow mandou ele embora. O Woody, eu prendi. Caramba, galera. Muito foda, mano. Bom, dá pra continuar a história com, lendo os graphic novels do The Wolf Among Us, pra quem não conhece. Bom, obrigado por terem assistido, galera. Caramba. Eu vou encerrar por aqui. Falou. Esse foi The Wolf Among Us, primeira temporada. Tomara que lance a segunda temporada pra gente jogar no canal aí. Tchau.